hello guys welcome back to my channel today i want to show you how i make my favorite chinese platter a lot of people have different names they call this but this is what i call mine as you can see right here i have about five eggs which i am mixing and i'm going to fry this but before we head on to this video if you're new here please do well to like subscribe share with your friends and family and do not forget to turn on the notification bell of this channel so when i drop a video like this you will be the first to know and um, please guys watch this video until the end because you might learn one or two or you might improve in one or two as you can see here my egg is almost ready and i'm just going to quickly wrap this up and set it aside before i head on to the cooking proper And now in my pan, I'm adding about two spoons of butter and my chicken. If you don't like to use chicken for this recipe, you can use your shrimps, you can use your corn, but this is what I'm using for this recipe. And I'm adding my cayenne pepper. Some people like to add the um, scotch pepper or ataragu, but this is what I like to add. And a bit of paprika for colors in my chicken. And I'm just going to let this cook until it almost dried up and then I'll set aside. As you can see guys, it's almost dried up. So this is what it should look like because you don't want it soggy in your food. And I set this aside. In that same pan, I'm adding my onion. Don't worry about the whole bunch and all that. Everything will come together just in case you're wondering, oh, what's that? Don't worry, everything will come together. And I'll add in my chopped carrots. And also, I'm going to add my green peas. My black pepper and now I'm going to add in my sweet corn when you're making this kind of recipe guys please always cook on a very high heat it is very very important and now I'm adding my well-cooked chicken breast and I'm just going to stir these together as you can see the whole bunch thing is coming together like I said before don't worry about it they will all come together and now I have my ginger and my garlic I'm adding that to my pan as well what's a Chinese butter without a fresh ginger <laughs> and garlic tell me that what um, as you can see right there it's almost ready it doesn't take time to cook this recipe and I'm also adding my sausages so people don't like to add sausage to theirs but if that's not what you like please just keep this part And here I'm adding my light soy sauce. As you can see, I'm adding about two to three tablespoons of soy sauce. And I'm also going to add in my oyster sauce. Same two to three tablespoons of oyster sauce. Don't go beyond, guys, because as time proceeds, you want to test it and make sure that everything is in place. And also adding my rice. I cooked this rice like a night before this recipe because Chinese platter always goes well with overnight rice. People call it overnight rice, some people call it um, freezed rice, but I made this a night before. So if you want to do that, please go ahead because the idea for this food is you don't want it to be soggy at all. You really don't want it to be soggy because you might not get to enjoy it that way. You can see guys our food is almost ready it doesn't take time to cook all you need to do is have your ingredients at hand have your heat on the high speed like I said before Chinese platter is always on the high speed because you want it almost like fried so you should be careful do not have your heat on low do not I repeat do not have your heat on low and now I'm going to add my kidney beans I like to top this off like it's part of my favorite and now I'm adding my egg, the egg you saw earlier, this is the point where you get to add it to your food. And I'll also be using my sesame blended oil for this recipe because this is like a top notch when you're making your Chinese. Sesame oil is very, very, very important so it's good you have it handy because it's very, 
um, it makes your food quite delicious it changes the aroma of your food name it if you're used to chinese i'm sure you know what i'm talking about right now so that's me drizzling in a bit of my sesame oil and i'm just going to let this heat up a bit and voila food is ready you can have this with your chinese sauce if you've not seen the previous video i have please go and check it you can use your chinese sauce in eating this you can use your chicken you can use your just whatever sauce you want to have this with please guys do well to try this recipe let me know what you think and please leave a comment in the comment section of this video and until i see you next on my channel always remember it is free without limits bye